So we have some cards left for the second part of the reading. I only need one more for the second part of the reading. So Virgos, the strength card is surrounding your entire reading. This is the card for Leo. Leo might be strong in your chart or in someone else's around this reading. But this tells me that you will find the strength and the courage to do what you know you need to do. Whatever that might be, this is surrounding your entire reading. So we're going to read on. Up here in your highest energy is the Six of Swords. So the Six of Swords is all about moving forward. But in order to move forward, you need more swords. The more swords of truth and clarity that you pick up, the further you can get towards that light. That very happy, loving, warm light. And away from these dark and stormy skies. Uh, it takes some time with this card. It takes some effort. You're pushing the boat with a pole. These are the two strongest energies in your entire reading. So you're going to find the strength and the courage to get the truth and the clarity you need in order to move towards your future, which looks very bright out there. I have the Ace of Cups next to the Six of Swords and right above the Strength card. This is a lot of love. This is, look how big that cup is. I mean, it's coming out of the, like, ocean or a lake. Huge, running over with love. I think this is what you have in your heart. And I think that uh, you, you're going to go to a place where you're going to be able to use your cup of love. You've been disappointed over love, but you still have a heart full of it. And, and this truth and clarity, this strength and courage that you're presenting to move forward um, is really going to bring out that that the love that you have in your heart. I have the five of cups here next to the ace of cups. You've been so disappointed in love and you know you can't help yourself but you do focus on the disappointment but there's two full cups right right above this figure's head. Look at that. And they're glowing. They're not spilled. So there's still hope and love for you. I have the Page of Swords under the Six of Swords and next to the Strength card. You have your sword out. You're not swinging it all over the place, you know, but you're just being cautious and you're being aware of things that are being said and done around you in moving forward. You're getting to the truth. You're getting to the clarity. You're being strong in moving forward. I have the Three of Pentacles on the other side of the Strength card and under the Five of Cups. This is all about not seeing eye to eye on how to move forward. That's part of your disappointment. But you're overcoming this, okay? There might have been a third energy or a third party involved um, with this card, like three's a crowd. But um, you're, you're, gonna, you, you're finding the strength and courage to overcome this Five of Cups energy and the, the not seeing eye to eye on how to move forward in your future. I have the Two of Swords under the Page of Swords and next to the Eight of Swords. So the Two of Swords, look at the moon there. The moon is always enlightening. It's always shining a path for you in the dark, okay? So you're, you have a blindfold on, your arms are across your heart, you're very guarded, and you have your swords up in self-protection. But the moon is saying, you know, that there is light behind you. Look at the light shining. You don't even know it's there because you're not looking at it. You're too busy protecting yourself. <laughs> so with the Page of Swords being above the Two of Swords, you will um, eventually, you will see the light, but cautiously and moving forward. And that's why we have the Six of Swords. You're moving forward cautiously. I have the Eight of Swords next to the Two of Swords and right under the Strength card. So this tells me that you had swords of truth and clarity all around you. Um, you weren't seeing them. You were ignoring them or you let things go for a long time. And that probably has to do with the five of cups and the three of pentacles. The two of swords, letting things go, like not dealing with things. Um, and your, your fist is on your chin here and uh, you have a blindfold on. You can't see all these swords of truth and clarity. But now you're picking them up. Now you're paying attention to what is going on around you. And you're making decisions based on that. I have the Seven of Pentacles next to the Eight of Swords and under the Three of Pentacles. I think you were waiting for uh, something to work out with this Three of Pentacles to be able to see eye to eye on moving forward. 
on uh, a relationship coming to fruition or uh, moving forward. But it's like the bush, it, it, it budded, but it never, it never bore fruit. So this figure is just standing there with a the basket, empty, waiting and waiting to pick fruit. Like waiting forever. So let's take out the second part of this reading. Let's find out where it is going here. So the emperor is right up here next to the five of cups. The emperor is the card for Aries. Aries might be strong in your chart or around this reading. But the emperor is holding true to yourself. I think you're, you're very strong. I think you're very strong-willed. And um, you're going to, you know, not settle. You're not going to settle for anything less than what you want from life, from love. Okay? And what you're going to do, you're very well liked and respected, by the way, by others with this card. And um, what you're going to do is you're going to hang on to that cup of love. See? All that love that you have right there. This is what you're doing with it right now. You're holding it pretty close. This is water, Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer that might be strong in your chart or in someone else's around this reading. But you're holding that cup so close. You're not handing it out, but you know you have it. If you want to, you can hand it out. I have the Four of Swords next to the King of Cups. You think it. You're, you, you, you take time to yourself in quiet times. And you think. And you let these swords of truth and clarity come to you. They're very healing. And they also help fill that bag that, that's holding these swords so that you can move forward. So I think for you, it's good that you spend this time alone and you let these swords of truth and clarity come to you. You probably, you know, like they say, uh, hindsight is twenty twenty. Well, I think that's part of this, uh, this these swords coming to you. And it has to do with this uh, three of pentacles, the seven of pentacles, the two of swords, the eight of swords, you know, the five of cups. I have the chariot under the emperor and next to the three of pentacles. You're moving forward. Yay! This is the card for Cancer. Cancer might be strong in someone's chart here. But if you snap those reins, you can move forward pretty fast. But you are definitely moving forward in life. But at the same time, you're holding true to yourself. And you're moving forward from this Three of Pentacles. It's like not coming together, not seeing eye to eye on, a, you know, moving forward, looking at your future and moving forward. I have the Hermit next to the Chariot and under the King of Cups. So you're seeking your path forward here with this card. Um, this is the card for Virgo. It's your card. Um, but the Hermit is very spiritual. And this time that you spend alone, we already know that you spend some time alone, you do seek guidance on your path forward. And you're trying... You, you The Hermit's here to help shine a light on your path forward. It usually shows up, and I kind of try to look, look at cards around it to get an idea on uh, some advice a hermit might have for you on following your path forward. Um, it's letting you know that you, you are capable of love, okay? You are and can move forward. And you don't have to accept all and any cup of love that is offered to you. You're disappointed over a past love. We already know that. And the way you look at love right here is like, it's, it's like, you don't know. I don't think you really realize that you still have a lot of love that you could offer. Um, but you, you're just not ready to uh, accept it. Okay. So if, offers be, if love is being offered, you're not really ready to accept that cup of love. I have the fool under the chariot and next to the seven of pentacles. This is, you know, living in the moment. This is throwing caution to the wind, living day by day. It's really fun. It's really carefree. But eventually you will come to the edge of that cliff and start to look forward towards the future. Okay. <laughs> and this is next to that seven of pentacles. Something that you've waited for. You can't just deny that because that's part of you. So um, you will. You're moving forward. You might, you know, leap into a relationship or feel like you're leaping into something um, but you're you're too cautious um, to uh, let this fool's energy take you over um, what's going to happen here is 
Um, you may feel like you're moving faster uh, than you should be in a relationship being under the chariot here. I have the Seven of Wands next to the Fool and under the Hermit. People, you know, you probably talk to people about what goes on with you. And everybody's got an opinion. These are all wands of fresh starts and new beginnings. Everybody's got an opinion about what you should do. Well, you got your own opinion. You're holding your own wand. And you probably do sift through what other people's advice is. And de then you decide for yourself. And again, it's being cautious. Next to the Seven of Wands is the Eight of Cups, and that's under the Four of Cups. And this is exactly why you look at the Four of Cups the way you do. While you're looking at, there's a love offer here, and you're like, I don't know, you know, if love is even possible, okay? Uh, because you have turned your back on love. You've had to walk away from love. You finally saw the moon, the moon, like from the Two of Swords, where you didn't see the moon, you finally turned around and saw the moon. And you found your way out of a loveless or uh, kind of a fizzled out relationship. So, um, there's a lot that you're going through here, Virgos, in this reading. Um, but you will come out on top because you have the strength and courage to do what you know you need to do. You are moving forward. You're getting truth and clarity. And you do have a lot of love left in your heart. And um, you're moving forward. So, um, cautiously. That's the key word. You're moving forward cautiously. So, let's take out a message from your guardian angels and spirit guides. Let's see what they have to say. It may or may not have to do with this reading. But let's just see what message they have for you this week. Okay, we're going to pull you out a card here, Virgos. Let's see what they have to say for you. Where is that card? Where do you think it is? I think it's right. This is the Helper of Abundance. So I will read it to you. Although you have a lot to do, it's important that you get organized first. Once planning is complete, you can roll up your sleeves and get to work. Your guardian angels surround you and are ready to help out. This card also indica indicates a very loving, kind, and loyal friend. Someone with a big heart, a quick wit, and endless patience. That person could be you. <laughs> so if you have projects that you need to get done getting ready to get done, plan it out, 